Imagine some distant space where there is an almost copy of the Milky Way galaxy, with a very sun-like star and a very Earth-like planet with an almost copy of you. Galaxies are a bit like fingerprints or snowflakes. There are many of them out there and they can have a lot of characteristics in common, but no two are exactly alike. Or so it was thought until scientists discovered a galaxy that was an exact replica of our Milky Way, and the revelation got the astronomers flummoxed. The Milky Way galaxy is a large spiral system consisting of several hundred billion stars, one of which is the Sun. It gets its name from the Milky Way in a regularly shaped belt of stars and gas clouds that can be seen from Earth and spans the night sky. Although Earth is located within the Milky Way galaxy, sometimes simply known as the galaxy, astronomers do not fully comprehend its nature as they do other external star systems. For the first time, astronomers have discovered two far-flung galaxies that are a near-perfect match of our own Milky Way. Although spiral galaxies like the Milky Way are common in the cosmos, the newly discovered twins also have other important characteristics in common. For instance, both feature satellite galaxies that are very similar to the Milky Way's close neighbors, the large and small Magellanic Clouds. Astronomers have used computer simulations of how galaxies form, and they don't seem to produce many examples similar to the Milky Way and its surroundings, leading astronomers to predict they are quite rare. But astronomers really haven't been able to tell just how rare they are until now, using the new survey, which looks at hundreds of thousands of galaxies. According to study leader Aaron Robotham of the International Centre for Radio Astronomy Research at the University of St Andrews in Scotland, just 3% of galaxies like the Milky Way contain companion galaxies like the Magellanic Clouds. They discovered 14 galaxy systems that are related to our own, with two of them being nearly exact matches. Robotham and his colleagues were looking over data from the Galaxy and Mass Assembly Survey, which maps out about 340,000 galaxies in the local universe, and they weren't expecting to find any true Milky Way twins. They had never found another galaxy system like the Milky Way before, which is not surprising considering how hard they are to spot. It's only recently become possible to do this type of analysis, which led Robotham and his team to the discovery. The research team needed telescopes good enough to detect not just galaxies, but their faint companions. They needed to look at large sections of the sky, and most of all, they needed to make sure no galaxies were missed in the survey. The Milky Way is locked in a cosmic dance with the large and small Magellanic clouds, which are clearly visible in the southern hemisphere's night sky. Many galaxies have smaller companions orbiting them, but few have two that are as large as the clouds. The galaxy we live in is perfectly typical, but the nearby Magellanic clouds are a rare and possibly short-lived occurrence and will disappear in a few billion years. Gazing into the universe is like looking into a funhouse mirror. That's because gravity warps the fabric of space, creating optical illusions. Many of these optical illusions appear when a distant galaxy's light is magnified, stretched, and brightened as it passes through a massive galaxy or galaxy cluster in front of it. This phenomenon is called gravitational lensing and was predicted to exist by Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity in the early 20th century. The mathematics showed that any massive celestial object could bend passing light rays like a glass lens bends light in a telescope or microscope. A gravitational lens can occur when a huge amount of matter, like a cluster of galaxies, creates a gravitational field that distorts and magnifies the light from distant galaxies that are behind it but in the same line of sight. The effect is like looking through a giant magnifying glass. It allows researchers to study the details of earlier galaxies too far away to be seen with current technology and telescopes. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers stumbled upon one such odd shape while analyzing quasars, the blazing cores of active galaxies. They spotted two bright, linear objects that appeared to be mirror images of each other. But astronomers were amazed that they had spotted a duplicate in the universe. The features that befuddled the astronomers and it took them several years to unravel the mystery. With the help of two gravitational lensing experts, the researchers determined that the three objects were distorted images of a faraway, undiscovered galaxy. But the biggest surprise was that the linear objects were exact copies of each other, 
a rare occurrence caused by the precise alignment of the background galaxy and the foreground lensing cluster. After chasing dead-end theories, soliciting help from colleagues, and doing lots of head-scratching, Hamilton and the growing team, led by Richard Griffiths of the University of Hawaii in Hilo, finally put together all of the clues to solve the mystery. The linear objects were the stretched images of a gravitationally lensed distant galaxy located more than 11 billion light-years away. They appeared to be mirror images of each other, but this rare phenomenon wasn't well known when Hamilton spotted the strange linear features in 2013. There were a lot of questions Hamilton was unable to answer, so the object was named Hamilton's object and was also discovered by astronomer Timothy Hamilton of Shawnee State University by accident in data obtained by the Hubble Space Telescope nearly a decade ago. He found that the two galaxies appeared to be the same shape and had the same nearly parallel dark streaks across the galactic bulge, the central region of the galaxy where most of the stars live. A precise alignment between a background galaxy and a foreground galaxy cluster produced twin magnified copies of the same image of the remote galaxy. This rare phenomenon occurred because the background galaxy straddled a ripple in the fabric of space. This ripple is an area of greatest magnification caused by the gravity of dense amounts of dark matter, the unseen glue that makes up most of the universe's mass. As light from the faraway galaxies passes through the cluster along this ripple, two mirror images are produced, along with a third image that can be seen off to the side. It wasn't until 2015 that a more plausible answer emerged. On seeing Hamilton present his object at a meeting, astronomer Richard Griffiths of the University of Hawaii suggested that the culprit might be a rare phenomenon, gravitational lensing, and it made a lot more sense than two identical galaxies. While the Hamilton object was a result of gravitational lensing, astronomers spotted another galaxy in the distant universe that appeared to be duplicated in the night sky at least 12 times. The unusual sight was captured using the NASA Hubble Space Telescope and hinted towards giving scientists a better understanding of the early universe. The galaxy appearing multiple times in the image has been nicknamed the Sunburst Arc. It's almost 11 billion light-years away. The Sunburst Arc galaxy is just one singular galaxy, but duplicates of it appear multiple times in the captured image due to strong gravitational lensing. The sunburst arc has been lensed multiple times in the image by light and mass from the massive cluster of galaxies it's seen behind. Gravitational lensing has resulted in four clear light arcs that you can spot on the unique image. One arc is in the lower left and three are in the top right. The galaxy actually appears multiple times within each arc. Hubble uses a cosmic magnifying lens to study objects like this. It allows astronomers to study far-off areas of the universe in great detail. The scientists observing the sunburst arc think it was created in an era that began only 150 million years after the Big Bang. When you consider that scientists tend to think the universe is 13.8 billion years old, this makes the sunburst arc very old indeed. Einstein's notebooks indicate that if an observer were located at the correct distance, the deflected light rays from around the celestial object would converge to make a magnified image. This is a phenomenon known as a strong gravitational lens. For example, to use the Sun as a gravitational lens to form an image of a more distant celestial object, an observer would have to be at least 550 times farther away from the Sun than the Earth. In a weak gravitational lens, light rays are not deflected enough to magnify the image. Instead, they introduce subtle distortions. Although the deflection from each cluster of galaxies is virtually undetectable on its own, the cumulative effect imparts a subtle distortion on the images of distant galaxies that can just be inferred from measurements. Astronomers refer to this effect as cosmic shear. By measuring the redshift to each background galaxy, it becomes possible to disentangle the dark matter structures that are located at different redshifts. We can perform tomography of the dark matter structures with a sufficient amount of background galaxies at different redshifts. Euclid will do this by measuring the distortions of 1.5 billion background galaxies stretching across 10 billion light years of the universe to create a three-dimensional view of the dark matter distribution of our universe. The galaxies that are found to be identical to our Milky Way open a wide range of possibilities about what could possibly exist in the universe. 
Astronomers are still discovering new galaxies in the universe through different techniques, one of which is gravitational lensing, which is used to probe the distribution of matter in galaxies and clusters of galaxies and enables observations of the distant universe. While research is still being conducted, our universe and its origin remain a big mystery that will be solved over time and will answer one of our questions whether duplicate celestial bodies exist in the universe, and if they do, is there a possibility of another Earth with another Sun in another Milky Way somewhere waiting to be discovered?